All right, three, two, one. Good evening, everybody. It's been a while since we tried to do this live. Probably since before the game came out. Uh, so here we are anyway. Uh, I have Mark with us. And Mark is playing the Luke Command Heroism. We've kind of got a mirror match here, because I'm playing Hera Command Heroism Vigilance. So we've got we've got the same mm. the same aspects. It's interesting how it is literally the same aspects on both sides, so uh, kind of curious there. It'll be interesting to see how it uh, plays out, I must confess. I have made like two improvements, or hopeful improvements to this deck since I beat Tony. Okay. So I've added... Nice. Do you care? Do you want to know? No, no, no. Go. Well, do you want it to be a surprise, or I don't, you have no idea what's in my deck? I have no idea what's in your deck. All right, then let's do it that way. That sounds fine. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, are you shuffling? Are you? I am shuffling. I'm good to go whenever you are. Since all you right. can't cut my deck, then that's going to not be a thing, really. Um, oh, and people are tuning in. We got five people watching live. Good evening, everybody. Mm -hmm. uh, feel free to ask any questions. Um, yep. And anything else you might want to say that Star Wars related, by all means, may the force be with you. Thanks for tuning in. Absolutely. Uh, cool. I feel like I'm shuffled. That's cool. Right. Uh, so call odds or evens for initiative. Uh, I'll go odds. That is an odd. Would you like the initiative? Uh, there's no downside, I feel like, to having it in turn one, I think. So... I'll there's, take them there's, shift, a, sure. there's a very rare downside, but it, it's just, it depends if you want to see what the opponent does first before you react to it. But generally speaking, it's it's considered okay. good to take the initiative because will... then you can take the initiative for the second turn and act before they do. Mm. Good point. So I'll take initiative. Uh, okay. I am running Hera and the security complex. So the security complex epic action is I get to give a shield to a non-leader unit once per game. Yep. And the Energy Conversion Lab Epic Action is the infamous one play unit that costs six or less from your hand. Uh, you have to pay the normal cost, as always. Uh, give it Ambush for this phase, which is fairly tasty. Ambush is very nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. Cool. Um, uh, Luke, well, Luke's action is you get to exhaust him and spend a resource to give a shield token to a hero unit that you played this phase. Yep, he very deploys, good. He deploys on turn six. Sorry, he deploys on six resources. Uh, so that's his epic action at that point. Cool. So Hera deploys on six as well. And her thing is that I can play any Spectre cards without the aspect penalty. So if you see me play any red cards such as Sabine or Zeb and not yep. paying any aspect death ratio, that's literally why. Um, and I think so Zeb is a very good card, actually, because he does like four damage after he kills. We've got, we got two people here in chat The Crusher and Steven. Hello, guys. How are you doing? You ready Hello, to draw? Uh, yeah, I'm ready. I've drawn my six. Uh, just for the record, right. I don't have a set of tokens bought, so I'm going to be using red D6 for damage, blue D6 for shields, and mm -hmm. green D6 for um, experience tokens, if they'd cool. be needed. Okay. Okay. Just so Sounds good. Front. Right. Okay. Wow, a mulligan in this hand, I have. <laughs> <laughs> Not a good one for you. Uh, a lot of six or seven cost cards there. Way too much. Oh, this is not the best starting hand, but it's also not the worst one. Uh, so... I think I might have to suck it up and go ahead with this one. Okay. Are we playing best of three tonight? I put best of three in the YouTube thumbnail, so... Yeah, I assume we'll play best it doesn't take three. horrifically long to play. There's no real reason why not. No, I don't um, think we'll be that slow. Alright, I'm mixed again. I'm going for... Number two. Six cards. Let's hope for something a little bit better. Right, so we do that, that. Let's resource that. I don't think I want to, want to keep that one too badly. Um, Alright, so turn one, we're resourcing two units, and then we are, well, up to two, I guess. That. that might not be the best call to make, but we're going to make it anyway, so there we go. Uh, if you want to look away from the screen briefly, I'll show the screen my hand, and it will be rotated for the people who are watching. So uh, Go for it. I suppose that's the thing. Right, there we go. This is what I'm, my starting hand is, having resource stuff, which you might not be able to see due to reflection, so I'll take it just a little bit. There we go. Cool, and off again. And I'm looking away if you want to do the same. My starting hand is rough. Okay. Is this, is this after you've mulliganed? Yeah. Oh, okay. Well... You have the initiative, sir. Um, I'm going to take the initiative. 
Oh, yeah, that is rough. Okay, fair enough. Um, I'll attack two and play a battlefield marine down. He has Ooh, no nice special card. text. He is a 3-3 three, three, uh, ground arena. Um, I have nothing else to do, so I will pass. So, next battle round. Yep, here we go. Do, what do, do, we, call them, do we call them battle rounds? Or, do, or turns? Uh, turns round, something like that, yeah. Okay, alright. All right. Uh, here we go. Mm -hmm. all right. Oh my Let's goodness. Stop. Oh my goodness. Oh, I kind of want to keep all of these. Alright, I'm going to resort one. if in one. doubt, always do that. So, let's play that down and ready up. And you have the initiative, so what would you like to do? I'm going to play the top three. Uh, I am going to play Ezra Bridger. He's a 3-4 Force Rebel Spectre. When this unit completes an attack, look at the top card of your deck. You may play it, discard it, or leave it on top of your deck. Um, you put your infantry on the left, so I will put mine on the right, and then we will match up on the street. Okay. Yep, that makes perfect sense. I was going to suggest the same thing if you weren't going to do it already, so that works. Cool. Excellent. Ezra is mildly annoying. Um, I can't kill him this turn, because he's a three drop, and I'm... Well, he's a three cost, and I'm a two cost, so... Um, what, how do I wish to do this? I think I'm just going to... Uh, do three to your base. Perfect. You may as well start the chip damage, eh? Uh, yeah. Three to the base. Down to 21. Uh, right. I will take initiative. Yep, because you've got nothing left to do. That makes perfect sense. Uh, hello. hello Phil, Phil. Philip. Philip Arigo. Yeah, Philip is the guy who's coming all the way from um, Baltimore to go to our GT here in Scotland. Awesome. Yeah. Like some dedication. I was gonna say, yeah, we need to need to get like a little bottle of whiskey or something for the person who travelled <laughs> longest to the GT. Uh that's not gonna work. Oh, I've messed this up slightly. Oh well, fine. We'll deal with it. So let's pay two to play a Colonel Yalaran. Yeah. Who is a two cost, uh two three when played a when you play a green unit, including this one, heal one damage from your base. I've not taken any damage, so I won't heal any. That's fine. Um, and I can't use Luke to give him a shield token because he does not have the heroic aspect icon. So I now have nothing left to do this turn. I will pass. Okay. Uh, draw two cards. Yep. Ooh. Well, we know what's going down there. That's nice and easy. Okay. Cool. Ready That's up. Ready up. I have not had the greatest start here. Um, no. I will... Hmm. I'll resource this, and then I will pay four mm -hmm. to put Caden Jarrus into play. He is a 4-5 uh. Spectre. Uh, on attack, you may discard one card from the defending player's deck for each friendly Spectre unit. Heal yep. one damage from your base for each different aspect among the discarded cards. I know it well, yes. It's quite a good okay. early early game drop. Not bad, not bad at all. Um, what am I going to do first? Uh, you could kill either of those with Ezra and take a bit of damage in return. Um... So I think I'm going to have to uh, do three to base of the Battlefield Marine first off. Three to my base, yeah? Yep. Okay, I will then use... my energy... Sorry, I'll use my security complex Yep. to give a shield to Ezra. Okay, that seems reasonable. All right. Um, in that case, you're going to attack one of them and take no damage in return. So I might as well uh, do two more to base with Colonel Yularen. Okay, uh, and then I think I will attack... Um... I think I'll just attack Yularin with Ezra. Yeah? Okay. So Ezra loses his shield and Yularin dies. 
Yep. Horrible, ignominious death, worthy of an imperial intelligence agent, such as he is. Okay. Uh, right. You're all tapped out. You've got nothing left to do, Masley. Uh, I've still got four resources to play, so I will spend all four resources and play a Bright Hope. Bright Ooh. Hope's a four-cost command uh, heroic ship that is 2-6 Sentinel. Uh, when played, you may return a friendly unit, uh, sorry, a friendly non-leader ground unit to its owner's hand. If you do so, draw a card. I do not wish to do so. Okay. Uh, you're up. I'll take initiative. Yep, and I'll pass. Okay, two cards. Oh, sorry, when Ezra played, I was allowed to look at my top card in my deck. And uh, Yeah, sure. I can play it, discard it, or leave it on the top. I'm, I'm happy to leave it on top. So when played or, or on attack completion or something, isn't it? Uh, when this unit completes an attack, look at the top card of your deck, you may play it, discard it, or leave it on top. Yeah. So, you couldn't have played it because you didn't have any resources left to play it, so you could just have left it or... or yeah, I, I'm going to leave it because I, I fancy getting that card. You're happy so. with it. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Okay, cool. Uh, you took the initiative. I've passed. Uh, so, draw. You have two. Okay. Oh, I haven't tapped by accident for soups. Hmm. I'm going to be on five resources. So, what do I want to do? I think realistically I want to do that. I have quite a, uh, every single card I've got I'd like to keep, but obviously I need to get one down for resource. Yeah, um, yeah I'll save that for later, I think. So let's resource this one and ready up. I guess I'm... It's tough. Really tough. I guess I'm resourcing this one. And I will start by uh, playing three. Mm -hmm. To put a wing leader into play. That is a 2 1 rebel spaceship. Uh, I get to give two experience tokens to another rebel unit. Let's go ahead and give Ezra one. And let's give Kanan one. No, it doesn't say that. Oh, it says give two, two experience to a rebel unit. Okay, well, they will give both to Kanan. That is much, much worse for me. But yes, okay, fair enough. Right. Puts him on seven health. Yeah, six, seven. Right. All right, well, let's do the thing. I will pay five mm -hmm. to play a Vigilant Patrol, uh, Vigilant Honor Guards. Five cost um, Vigilant Heroic 4-6 Rebel, who has Sentinel as long as he is undamaged. 4-6. Okay, so I can still kill him straight away. Um, yeah. Hold on, I think I hear a kid crying. No yeah. worries. Let me just check. Yeah, do what you need to. I will not break out my joke book. Because my joke is filthy and is not suitable for stream. Hello, seven people in chat. The the Krushek, sir. Stephen Clancy and Philip Arago, as previously mentioned, there must be some of the people who've not yet said anything in chat who are watching us. So thank you, hello, and welcome. If we've not already greeted you, uh, currently damage on base would appear to be in my favour, but at this point in the game, it's still very definitely anyone's game. So we'll see how it goes. Unlimited power. I do like that Vader mat. That Vader mat is very nice. 
Having said that, I thought I was settling with the X-Wing map, but the X-Wing map is also very nice indeed. I like the way it makes the little red laser blasts on the map kind of glow or look like they're glowing on the uh, on the stream camera. Building some death company. Jump pack firstborn or other other sort. How are you equipping them? If I may, uh, if I may be so bold. Power fist inferno pistol or something a little more more interesting, perhaps. I've got far too many Death Company. And I've broken their arms off and re-glued different arms on them many times, far too many times over the years. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, no worries. You do what you got to do. Um, yes, I was going to play... Right, so I've, I've just played this Sentinel, and it mm -hmm. is now your action. I feel like I should kill it. I mean, with... you don't have to. I know I can't, though. Because um, I've got six damage on Kanan. Yeah. So, yeah, let's kill it. Um, yep. So I'll attack with Kanan. All right. So you I take kill Vigilant on the guards. You four. take four or ten. So I'm down to three. I'll just put three on him to see he's got... Well, I could just put the four on him, actually. Um, Path is a plasma pistol. Okay, interesting choice. And on attack... Scott. Two cards, yes. You may discard one card from the defending player's deck for each friendly Spectre unit, yes. So you need to discard yeah. two cards and tell me how many different aspects that is. You don't is. have to. May means it's optional. So it's your choice as to whether you do it or not. You yes, can choose you're, not to. <laughs> you're definitely discarding two cards. Okay, fair enough. And telling me how many aspects, unique right, aspects so there are. Two aspects off the first card. Okay. And off the second card, a third aspect. Perfect. So I heal three on my base. All right. So Kanan is now a 6-3. Mm-hmm. Okay. Right. Well, You're... I think we're going to take advantage of this to kill Kanan with the Battlefield Marine. Yeah, I think, mate. Cool. So it kills the, he kills the Battlefield Marine in return. Oh, absolutely. Yes. The Battlefield Marine's only piddly. Okay. Um, I'll then spend two to give Ezra an Electro Staff. Oh, Attached to a non-vehicle unit uh, that gives him plus two, plus two. While attached, yep. uh, while this, while attached, oh, sorry, while attached unit is defending, the attacker gets minus one, minus zero. Okay, fair enough. So when you attack me, you lose one attack, basically. Seems pretty tasty. Okay. Okay, so he is a five, six. Yeah. Yep. Right, five, six. Fair enough. Cool. Um, my bright hope is going to attack your base for two. Perfect. And I guess Ezra is going to attack your base for five. Okay. And then I get to look at the top card of my deck. Mm -hmm. And then I'll just put it back on the top because that seems fine. Rocking the Heroes of the Storm shirt. Great game. Abatha for life. Cheers, Marius. <laughs> hey, Marius, yeah. Hero Storm is like my guilty pleasure, man. Why I, are you I need... guilty? If you enjoy it, don't be guilty about it. No, I, but you know what I mean? Like, it's the game that I always go back to. Marius, I need to get you added um, on <laughs> Battle.net. I, I, I play, like, one game, like, three times a week. It's, oh, it have you my seen guilty what they're doing in the next patch for WoW? No, I haven't so been keeping up. in the next patch for WoW, which is the patch before The War Within, the next expansion... Mm -hmm. Um, they are doing a time-limited event where you create a new character and level it from 1 to 70, uh, all in Pandaria, and all the rewards and transmog stuff you earn during re-experiencing Pandaria from scratch all over again uh, get transferred to your main account and character for later. Well, that's cool. In um, terms of like cosmetic rewards and, and toys and things like that. Oh, cool. I did enjoy Pandaria. <laughs> I love Pandaria. Just... I think it's one of my favourite expansions. So, uh, it's your turn then. Anyway, yes. Um, so Have you got anything to do? Bright Hope has shot you for two. Yeah. Uh, you have... Does the Bright Hope no, have healing on it? No? No. no. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay. I thought it had a restore. My bad. No, it's Sentinel. That's what it's got. Okay. That's so you shot me for two. I added the two. Where? What's next? You... Uh, your action? Uh, I guess I'll take initiative again. 
Sorry, I thought I was waiting for you to take initiative, but no. Okay, I'll take it again. If I've had it every turn this week. You just well. did me for five, didn't you? Was that before or after the... Oh, you, that was after the Bright Hope. Oh, yeah, so the then. yeah, yeah cool. perfect. Okay, right. sorry. I was waiting That's for right. you to take it and then... Fair enough. My initiative token is the Grand Admiral's rank insignia. Perfect. Okay. So, right. we... so you pass ne and we move on. Yeah, next turn. Okay. Right, this is what we wanted. Nice. Yeah, I got what I wanted there as well, actually, so... Okay. This will be interesting. We'll see how this goes. Uh, I will... This I is will... attack rating 5, 6. This one. Okay. 5, 6, yes. Yeah. All right, let's resource that and ready up. Okay. Okay. Cool. What do I want to do first? I think I know what I want to do first. I want to uh, attack two to base of Bright Hope. Sure. Okay, I'm going to spend six. Yep. To put the ghost into play. Okay. Uh, when you arrive, you may put a shield on another Spectre unit. That will go on Ezra. It will. Fair enough. No worries. Uh... Five six shielded. Minus one when defending. What order do I want to do this in? I figured you're going after him, so my vain attempt to keep him alive is to put a shield on him straight away. You've paid all <laughs> six already. Yeah. All right, yeah, let's bring out Luke. All right. We are deploying Luke Skywalker, faithful friend. It's a 4-7 on attack, gives a shield to anyone, isn't it? It's a 4-7 on attack, you may give another unit a shield token. And there is, of course, no limit to the amount of shield tokens that can be on uh, any given unit. Okay, let's go ahead and just hit him straight away for a 5 with, okay. uh, with Ezra. All right, you hit Luke for five. Then lose my shield. And Luke pings off the shield, absolutely. That. Is that what you were expecting? It's what we call a result. So, I'll pay six to play Obi-Wan Kenobi. Oh, very nice. Who's a four-six sentinel, uh, vigilance and heroism. When defeated, give two experience tokens to another friendly unit. If that is a force unit, uh, draw a card as well. Okay. I couldn't have killed him anyway with Ezra. That's true. For whatever that's worth. Yeah. Um, he does four. Hera does of six. Hmm. By Philip Hera, she has to hit Obi Wan. That's true. Is that the worst thing in the world? No. Okay, I'm going to flip Hera over. Okay, so Hera deploys into the ground arena alongside Ezra. Yep. She's a 4 6 and on attack. Gives an experience token to another unit. Yeah, that's pretty nasty, isn't it? Mm. Okay. That'll build up unpleasantly. So let's um, attack the base with Luke for four. Okay. And on attack, we will give a shield to another unit, which will be Obi Wan. That's very nice. I cannot find a four. Is uh, that a five? Some bad maths there. Nine <laughs> up to thirteen. No worries, that makes more sense. All right. What do you want to do now? Hmm. 
Now I want to take the initiative. Okay. Interesting choice. Uh, I will pass. Okay. Let's draw some cards. Oof. Well, yeah, let's resource you. There's not a lot of real thought involved in that. Okay. Off you go, sir. So your Luke has two hit points remaining, is that right? That's correct, yes. So I will resource this card mm -hmm. and I will Does he count as an enemy unit? Yes he is. Okay, then I'll play all seven. Ugh. Okay. To bring in Luke Skywalker himself and give your Luke minus three minus three. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Which kills him, right? Yes, that does indeed kill him. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, after he's dead, he goes in exhausted and his epic action has been used. Okay. Right. I'm not sure the wisdom in that. Like, maybe I should have hurt Obi-Wan, but... No, it's fair. It's fair. Well, I will also pay seven. And bring in your Luke. <laughs> the card I'm playing is not Luke. The card okay. I'm playing is something called Ewing Reinforcements. Oh, this is a cool card. So, seven cost, command, heroism. Search the top ten cards of your deck for up to three units with a combined cost of seven and put each of them into play for free. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I have this card in my deck. I think one one copy of it. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's right. Good. What do we have? Do -ba -do -ba -do. Do -ba -do but it has to be units. You're put yeah, it has to be units. has to be units. So it yeah. can't be that. can't be that. can't be that. Uh, can be those. It's not going to be that. Could be that, but it's going to be these and some combination of these. So I've taken five damage to my base already. Uh, well, that would seem like a uh, a reasonable set of plays, I think. So let's. Uh, put the other cards of the bottom three deck in random order. So I'm going to shuffle the ones I don't play, which is fine. So you'll play a Colonel Yularen, mm -hmm. um, which heals me for one, down to four. Perfect. Uh, if I can find what the four is. There we go. Uh, I will play a Battlefield Marine, which is another green unit, so that'll heal me for another one, down to three. Yep. I will play an Alliance Dispatcher, oh, which I haven't seen dispatch. yet. It's a one cost, uh, one, two, for an action. You get to play a unit from your hand, and it costs one resource less. But it's another green unit, so that heals me for another one. They're down to two points of damage. Uh, that's two, four, five. And for my final two uh, resource points, I will play a Restored Arc 170, which is a two, three spaceship with Restore 1. Perfect. And the other cards that I have played get shuffled. And put to the bottom of my deck. And that's my action. Okay, I'm going to attack okay. with a ghost. Okay. To hit your sentinel spaceship for five. Yep. I will take two damage on the ghost. Yep. Um, so it will go down to three. Yep. But... And it'll put you down on one. Yeah. Yep. Um, I've got five taken. That's right. I can give a shield to another Spectre unit. I've never actually done this before, but I assume because my leader is Spectre, that's fine? Yeah, sure. Absolutely. Okay. So I'll that's give her a, unit. Uh, yep. shield token. Certainly. No worries. Uh, you do have to tap the ghost for doing that, though. Oh, yeah. 100%. Sorry. Sorry, sir. Uh, should the ghost have been shielded? Uh, no, when you play it. Oh, yeah. It gets a shield when it's played. Sorry. 
So it gets a shield, and it gives a shield every time you attack. Oh wow, well, it's even better than I thought it was. Sorry, I missed that. So it, it actually That's takes right. no damage from you this first attack there. It just, yep, it just lost its shield. Yep, that makes sense. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Keep me in right. No worries. My pleasure. Uh, what else are we doing? We're doing that, we're doing that, we're doing that. So uh, I've got two things left to do stuff with. So... I think I missed that when I played Tony, actually, because I used the ghost against him as well. There you go. You learn. Yeah, you uh, live and you learn. So... Your wing leader is going to kill my Bright Hope when it, if it attacks it. So let's get the Bright Hope's damage in before it dies. So Bright Hope into your base for two, please. Sure. So 13, that's 15. So you've got 10 hit points. You've 10 left, yeah. No worries. Okay. Off you go. What's next? I think... Hera attacks your B. Uh, sorry, Hera attacks Obi Wan Kenobi for four. Okay. Loses um, her shield. Things off shields. Yep. But in doing an attack, she gives a plus one, plus one, uh, two. Let's give her a plus one, plus one to Luke. So Luke becomes it's a. Who say you can give the experience to? On attack. You may gain experience talking to another unique unit. What does it mean by unique? One that I've only uh, got one of so, in play. Uh, a name. So you see there's a little star beside the name Ezra Bridger, Hero Sindula, and, all, yes. and Luke Skywalker. That means they're unique units. The ghost is a unique unit as well. Wing leader is not. I'm going to give it to Luke because he's got Restore 3 and I feel like I'm going to need to be healing my base pretty soon. <laughs> Fair enough. That makes sense. On that, um, let's hit your base for four with Obi-Wan. Sure. So that's 19 taken, I think. No, it's a lot. It is a lot. Uh, let's... Do you want to replace some of those with 10s or 5s? If I had one, yeah. <laughs> there you go, 19. So you want a 10 and a 5 and 4 ones. Nice. Cool. Let's... Um... like I can't leave Obi-Wan alive again for another turn, so let's kill him with Ezra, and Ezra will take his four. Yep. Alright. Uh, put... In doing so, I can look at the top card of my deck. Yep. And... I'm actually okay. going to bury that card in my discard pile, because sure. that's not going to help me much. Obi-Wan dies, I give two experience tokens to another friendly unit. Uh, it will be the Battlefield Marine. It's not a force unit, so I don't get to draw a card, but I do get two experience points on that guy. Mm -hmm. Which is great. Right. Probably actually wins you the game, I think. I will take the initiative, because all I need to do is six damage to you, and I reckon I can probably do that next turn before you can stop me. Okay, so I will attack your spaceship... Which will kill my yours wing and kill mine. Yeah. yeah. And that would be me done. So draw All two. Right. No worries. Here we go. Uh, which way around do I want to do this? I think I'm going to have to be playing that, which means let's resource you and ready up. Okay. I have the initiative, so let's get the obvious out of the way. Mm-hmm. If you're ready. Yeah, I'm ready. All right, so Battlefield Marine, uh, five to your base. So it leaves me on one, correct? Yep. Okay, I will play. This is a resource. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to do eight. Yep. To play a Redemption. It's yep. a six, nine spaceship. When played, heals a total of eight damage from any number of units and or bases. 
deal that much damage to this it doesn't unit. Have to be eight. It can be anything between zero to eight. So I am going to heal my base for six. Okay. And take the six damage over onto the redemption. All right. So my base is three health left, which is one more health than your arc fighter will do. <laughs> yes, that's the plan here. So that's sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. So seven damage. I need to deal. Right. Well, that's minorly annoying. I must confess. Yeah, there's a good card to have at that point. It changes things up a little bit. Question is, is it going to make all the difference? I was concerned to take all eight damage on the base, to be honest. Yeah. Oh, sorry, moving all eight over because I am low on life, so maybe this is a backfire, but we'll see. That means I'm not killing you this turn, this 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 round at least, one way or the other. Um. And you can do a lot of damage to me this turn. So I need to be very careful in what I'm doing here. Right, what can you do with all that damage to me? Six health, uh, two health on Ezra, seven on Luke. I could do seven, 11, 16, 21, actually. Uh, Ezra's doing five. Yep. Is that right? Yeah, Ezra's doing five, Hera's doing four, Luke's doing seven, the ghost is doing yeah. five. Right, okay. Let's change this up and change my plans. We are going to pay four mm -hmm. to play a takedown and kill the ghost with defeat a unit with five or less remaining hit points. Very nice. Okay, this scuppers me a little bit. Um, I'm going to then use Luke mm -hmm. to kill your at Laren. Okay. And Luke is going to restore three to my base. Fair enough. Uh, Luke takes two. <sighs> I should have thought about this a little bit better with what I resourced, because I could have done that slightly differently. That's aggravating. Still, that's the way it goes. Um, hmm. Yeah, I've messed this one up. All right, let's do one to base with the Alliance Dispatcher. Okay, I'm going to use Hera. Mm-hmm. To kill the dispatcher. Okay, and take one damage. And take one damage, and I'm going to use her plus one plus one mm -hmm. to give it to. Everybody's holding their breath. My big flying ship. Okay. That's Sentinel. And then your shot. It is. Um, hmm. Oh, sorry. Her, her, oh, sorry, you got that moose. No, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, sorry, it's the ghost that gives the shield when you attack. Sorry. Yes. Yeah. That's another reason why I killed the ghost. Um, oh, this is annoying. Oh. Going to take the initiative. You are? I am. Okay, then I'm going to use Ezra to kill your battlefield marine. He's going to okay. die for that. But, yep. All right, um, straight trade. I do still get to look at the top card of my deck. Of course. And I'll put it back there. All right. Okay, so you've got initiative. I have taken the initiative. Yep. Cool. I assume you probably pass at this point. Yeah, two cards. All right, here we go. Oh. 
Hmm. Oh, this is really weird. I do not know what I'm going to do. Um, that's a lot of damage coming my way. I'm going to have to prevent it, I think. So, let's play this down. Let's ready up. Everything that I've exhausted, which is not a lot. And I'm ready when you are. Uh, well, you took the initiative, so... Have you played a resource? Do you yes. wish to play a resource, or do you yes, want to I've, I've, played a yeah. I've played a resource, sorry. So you're on nine? Eight. Eight. Did I miss a turn? Uh, I'm on. I'm on nine. Oh, well, maybe I'm waiting. Do I not play the resource when it's my turn? No, you, you, you play. play it. No, no, you play it now before the turn starts. All oh, right, my bad. Uh, I'll play. I one noticed now. you did that last turn, which is why I'm prompting at you now. I want to go up to nine. Two, four, eight. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Um. Yeah. This might be the last time I'm playing a resource in this deck. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Okay. Uh, I have the initiative. I will pay eight. Oh, here of comes someone big. Your finest resources to play a spaceship you might be familiar with. It's called the Redemption. It's Sentinel. Yeah, <laughs> same as yours, mate. Yeah. Uh, um, with a bunch I'm of healing. Going to heal two because I've only taken two damage. Okay, you're going to move the two onto the spaceship, are you? I am, which leaves a spaceship with seven health remaining. Oh, no, you've got the thing, haven't you? No, let's not do that. Ugh. I'll leave one health there and take one onto the spaceship, so it's got eight health remaining. That makes more sense. Yeah, because I would have just instantly killed it. Although you can give it an experience token with Hera anyway. Ugh, fine, we're not going to heal any. Leave yeah. my base on two damage. Okay. So your arc is doing two. Yep. And it restores one. And I have ten on this guy minus six, so if I kill you, I still have two health. Oh, but I can't attack you, that's right. You can only attack the redemption, because it's sentinel. Okay. So... Let's swing. Ugh, this is tricky. Let's swing at your base with Hera for four. Mm -hmm. Let's give a plus one, plus one to Luke. I assume. Oh no, it might be redemption. I'm thinking the redemption. to keep it alive that bit easier um yeah let's put it on the redemption so it's it's a it's an eight six at the moment yeah sorry eight four at the moment taken six got 11 total health yeah okay cool all right oh sorry it's got 11 total health so it's an eight five at the moment yep that makes yep. sense all right okay uh i will pay my last resource and tap luke to give the redemption a shield. Nice. Okay, so I'll pay one resource to put in an alliance dispatcher. Yep. I will retain the initiative. Okay, I'll pay four resources to play a Bright Hope. When played, you may return a friendly non leader ground unit to its hand if you do draw a card. Yep. I don't think there's any point. I don't think there's much point. Uh, I'll play two more to put a restored arc. Yep. 17 into play. Yep. And then I'll play one more to put mm -hmm. Bail Organa into play. Yep. 
Okay. Uh, and then I guess I'll swing at your base with Luke for seven. Seven. And I'll heal my base for three. Uh, Can I hold on? Restore 13. three. Can I heal other units? No. Restore no, just by one. its definition is only uh, the base. So I'll go down to just thirteen damage on my base. I'm back up to twelve health. Oh, great. You took board control pretty effectively at that point, didn't you? Mm. Okay, cool. Okay, um, I'm done pass, so All right. put your two so, cards. Here we go again. We might not get much time in for a best of three at this. Uh, I'm going to resource that. And let's ready up. Okay. Sometimes, though, when the games get long like this, it's the best type of game. Yeah, yeah, it can be. Because, I mean, I was down at one hit point, right? Yep, you were yep. very, very close to death. You managed to pull it back very, very effectively. We'll give you that. Yeah, I'm not going to resource a, a thing this turn. Oh, I've got ten. You're not resourcing. Fair enough. Right. So, um, we can do that. We can do that. Will ping shields off. Um, right. Let's. Oh, it does a lot of damage. All right, let's kill the Bright Hope with my redemption and lose a shield. Okay. Let's. Your Bright Hope has nine health. I'm doing my redemption eight. has nine health. I'm going to tap Bail. <laughs> To give yep. an experience token to another user unit, I'm going to give it to my redemption. Great. <laughs> Wonderful. So it's got nine damage now. It has. Uh... That makes it uh, 12. So it's got six health remaining. So it would yep. die as well. <sighs> oh. I'm going to make a very risky play now. I'm going to pass. I'm not passing. Um, I'm going to attack your base with Hera for four. Yeah. I'm going to give my Bright Hope a plus one, plus one. Sorry, my Redemption another plus one, plus one. Yeah. So it now has... Um, it would be 13 minus six. So it's got seven health remaining now. Once, obviously, seven health. So it yeah. won't die to my Redemption. Correct. Right. Hmm. How badly do I want to play this? This is when you need that shitty moment of glory card that no one ever puts in their deck, doesn't it? Yeah. Moment of peace. Moment of peace. I do consider running some zero cost cards. I just don't ever seem to find a find this space. I think you've got too much there really so i'm gonna have to play in another arena i think all right let's pay eight mm -hmm. to bring down a reinforcement walker in the ground arena this is a six nine uh when played look at the top card of your deck either draw it or discard it to heal three damage from your base yeah so um <laughs> i will leave that on the top It's a six nine. <laughs> it's a six nine. Okay. Let's 
show your redemption. Yep. And take six damage in return. So I'll just leave one on him for one hit point is what he's got. Uh, I've sure. got a ten sure. lying around. No worries. Him. Not a problem. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, I will attack your redemption with the restored arc, killing both and healing my base for one. Cool. Okay, I'll uh, play yep. my... Is there any point in tapping well, this statue? You don't only if I if I no, I'm gonna play eight as well. Yep. To play enforcement walker. Oh, okay. Um so I can look at my top card. Yep. Uh I don't need this, so I'm gonna discard it and heal my base for three. A resupply, fair enough. Oh, this is very slowly going your way. And then I will attack your base with loop for seven. Okay, which it puts me up to 23. And then you can do one damage with um, the Alliance Dispatcher and two damage with the Restore Dark, which wins you the game. Gretz, you've got it. We got it. Oof. You've got it. What a swing, man. Yeah. Very good. I literally couldn't have... I got that redemption <laughs> at just the right time, man. You're absolutely on a knife edge there, yeah. So what I was trying to decide, though, is whether or not I play the Reinforcement Walker or wait for you to kill my redemption and then play eight resources to play another play redemption another one. down. Okay. But I wouldn't have thought that would have made enough damage. Maybe it would have made a difference because you wouldn't have been able to do wouldn't have been able damage to... with the Restored Arc. So... And I could have healed by playing it. So maybe playing the redemption would have been the better we can play. do that if you want. We can continue no, 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 the game. It's all good. You made a decision. It's fine. Uh, the reason I left my card at the top that I did was because I was preparing to kill Luke the following turn with this this lovely. Oh, with a nice here. sick little vanquish. Yeah. Um, so. Cool. But no, you just edged it out there with the amount of damage that you were doing. So props to you. Yeah. This is you're taking this to a tournament tomorrow, are you? Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Cool. Do you have time for another game, or are you trying to yeah, get an sure. early night's bed? Let's do it. I, I am I am making an early start tomorrow, but it's fine. We can do it. It's going to be right, a day. How many games do you play at the tournament then? Um, if so, uh, they're starting check-in at nine. It's an hour mm -hmm. and a half drive. Oh wow! Uh, okay. Tournament starts at ten, and then if you make the top cut to go through to the final, you'll be playing till about eight p.m. Wow! So you must play a lot. Of... You might not. You might not make the top cut though. I'm at the win. So it's like best of three at the event. Yes, fifty-five minute rounds, best of three. Okay. All right, let's see. Like this is it's a long game. I was going to say that was quite a long game. Well, it, I think in a, any other card except that redemption on that pool, and you won the game. Well, there we go. Uh, I will because I lost. I get to choose whether to take the initiative or give it away. I will choose to start the game with the initiative. All right. Uh, I probably only have time for one more. Yeah. Sure. So. Let's see if you can win it and then even it up at one game each. Or if it ends in a draw, yeah. Ooh, Ooh well then we, everyone will have to tune in for next week's stream. Un unresolved tension, yeah. Cheers, Phil. Right. That was a very close game. That was absolutely on a knife edge there. You're absolutely right. I I made some bad decisions there that, that cost me the game. I could have done things differently with hindsight. Um, okay. So this resulted in me wasting resources when I could have spent them. I also to... made no use of the ECL, which is a shame. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you six. never used your ECL, did you forget, or you just didn't have a. The, the, the right opportunity at the time didn't quite crop up. Okay. Which I've noticed a few times with this deck. Okay. Uh, this is not the best starting hand in the world, so let's mulligan that. Well, my hand last time was all sixes and sevens, uh, <laughs> with the mulligans as well. This time it was all ones and twos, so it was probably too many ones and twos, but I'm like, F it, I'm keeping it. Yeah, you can always yeah, play them it. through. Yeah, I'm just going to play them all. And resource the ones that you don't want. It's nice to have the flexibility. Yeah. Right, so. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the hand we're stuck with this time. How bad are we? We're not horrifyingly bad. Not okay, great, good. But not bad. Uh, I think we're going to do that and that, which means 
Uh, oh no. Oh no. Let's do that. That'll be more fun. Right. Let's resource you. And let's resource you. Uh, I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Yep. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Let's exhaust two uh, and play the Battlefield Marine once again. Yeah. Cool. Let's uh, exhaust one and play Alliance Dispatcher. Seems fair. I will retain the initiative. Uh, I'll resource another one to play a Vanguard Infantry. Okay. Seems fair. I'm done. All right. Draw two. Uh, you can stay, you can go, and ready up. Right, I have the initiative, so um, I know exactly what that thing's capable of, so let's kill the Alliance Dispatcher. Oh, it is good, isn't it? And take a point of damage in return. I do like the Dispatcher. I, I really like having three in my deck. Mm. Um, I will tap Mm, yeah, okay. Three to play yep. resupply. Oh, interesting. Does the resupply come in exhausted, the resource from it? So, all resources, everything that you play comes in exhausted, unless they say otherwise. Okay, perfect. Uh, yeah. Cool, so that's your, your shot. All right, I will pay three to play a resupply. Ooh, we're both racing. Okay, uh, I'll attack your base for one with my Vanguard Infantry. That sounds fair. I will retain the initiative. Okay. All done? Yep. Cool. Draw two. Ooh. Ooh. Now that's an interesting choice. Mm. Oh, man, it's... That's a very interesting choice. Yeah, I'm still going to resource have to resource here. this one. Okay, let's resource that. Okay. Uh, I really don't like yep. it, but I guess I'm resourcing this. Okay. Your turn. All right. Um, so. Which way around are we doing this? I think we're doing it that way around. So, let's attack your base for three. Perfect. Uh, I'm going to pay two to mm. put a restored arc into play. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, seems a bit of a waste, really. Hmm. Oh, that's aggravating. Well, it's going to happen. So, uh, let's pay three mm -hmm. to play an Echo Base Defender. Just a 4 3 Sentinel. Nice. Not bad for three, actually, is he? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's great. Okay. Um, I'm going to take initiative then, I guess. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, I will pay one to exhaust Luke and give the Echo Base Defender a shield as he is a heroic unit that is newly deployed this turn. Very nice. Um, and then I will pass. Cool. Two cards. Okay. Uh, I will resource... this guy? And I... Oops, are you ready? Uh, bear with me. Yeah, I think we're going to have to resource this. Okay. Are we ready up? I'll place all six to play Obi-Wan yep. Kenobi. 
Four <gasps> six sentinel. Oh, no. Obi Wan Kenobi. Who could have possibly seen it in a heroic deck that's running blue and green? Uh. <laughs> cool. Right. Well. Um. You know what? Let's hit Obi Wan for four. Very nice. At well, the cost you... of a shield. Yeah. Um, then I will shield Obi Wan with my Please. energy conversion lab. Okay, fair Probably enough. Security complex. Uh, yes, I know. I know what you mean. Yep. <sighs> Keep forgetting that stupid thing. Um. I do keep forgetting it, don't I? Is that gonna do a thing? Possibly. Uh, I'm gonna have to take out Obi Wan before then. Uh, what's doing the most damage? That's doing that amount of damage. That's doing that amount of damage. So. Let's um, I could just change my plan completely. That'd be funny. Let's change my plan completely. That'd be funny. Um, right, so I'll pay four mm -hmm. to play takedown and kill Obi Wan, who is a unit with five or less remaining hit points. Very nice. Well, it really buggers my shield, doesn't it? That was the plan. Uh, I'll give this two plus one plus one tokens that he gives when he dies. Yep. To the restored arc. Okay. And then I'll attack your base four four with the restored arc. Okay. And I'll heal my base for one because of that. Fair enough. I will do um let's do three to base of the battlefield marine. I think I'm going to take the initiative. Okay. I'll deploy Luke. I'll do four to base of Luke and put yep. a shield on the Echo Base Defender. Um, and I will pass. Cool. Do -ba -do -ba -do. Two cards? Yeah. That's going to put me on that much. Which is that and nothing else or that and that, which is not bad. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna resource I think one. I'm gonna have to do that. Yeah, let's do that. So I'll play one down as resource. Let's ready up. And you have the initiative, sir. All right, we're going to play all seven mm -hmm. for a U-wing reinforcement. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Mm -hmm. And I can play up to seven, and the rest go just... You can play randomly. a maximum of three units with a total combined cost of seven, and the rest yep. are to be shuffled and placed at the bottom of your deck. What was in my hand? Yes, okay. Yeah, it's worth putting your hand down. <laughs> yeah. So you don't get them confused.
Interesting. Okay, I'm going to play an Alliance Dispatcher. Yep. I'm going to okay. play a Bright Hope. Yep. And I'm going to play a Sabine Wren. Okay. And I'll mix these and put them on the bottom. So the, four, the, five, six, seven. Yep. the Bright Hope lets me return a friendly... No, I don't want to return anything to my hand, I don't think. Yep. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Yep. All right. Okay. So we're doing that much damage there, we're doing that much damage there. Okay, I think I want to pay four to kill your buffed restored arc 170 with another takedown. Oh well, wow. okay. You're up. I have a real problem with that echo based Avenger. Yeah. Uh, is is it too bad sportsmanship of me to say good? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've got nothing doing, man. Um. I guess I'll flip my leader. Okay. Here it comes out. Starts doing uh, unpleasant things for in terms of experience. So, um, I think that um, I'm going to play my final three. Yep. To play down Admiral Akbar. Okay. Who is a 1 4 restore 1 uh, unit. It says, when played, you may deal damage e to a unit equal to the number of units you control in its arena. So I'm going to pick somebody in your ground arena and shoot them for four because I control four units in the ground arena. Very nice. And I'm going to shoot Hera for four damage. Cool. Um, not really what I wanted to happen there. Because uh, I have seen... She can oh, do. no, she... Uh, no, she doesn't come in shielded. It was the ghost that came in shielded, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I don't want her to get a chance to start pumping experience all over everything, so I'm going to kill her. Yeah, it's a good idea. Uh, I'm going to remove your shield from your Echo Base Defender with my Vanguard okay. and give yep. the experience token to Ugh. Uh, the Bright Hope. Bright Hope. Okay, fair enough. Awesome. Um, I am going to kill Hera with the Battlefield Marine. Cool. In a straight trade. Uh, I'll take initiative. No worries. Once defeated, she's exhausted, but it doesn't matter because you're just taking initiative anyway, so that's fine. Uh, it's not like she does anything either with once she's gone, so that's all good. Um, Cool. So you've taken the initiative. I will attack four to base with Luke. Yeah. I will give a shield token to the Echo Base Defender while I'm doing it. Who will then attack um Did you just hear a ping? I didn't know. Okay, don't know that one. Um the Echo Base Defender will resources aren't massively useful right now, but you're still the damage that you're doing. Right. How much health are you taking? Total? I, had, I had nine. So if I put down a ten, and another four three. is thirteen. Yeah. yeah. That's as hard, um, apparently. Apparently so. Um, 
So if I do another four, that puts you on 17, which is eight away from death. So yeah, let's just do four to base with the Echo Base Defender. And okay. I will pass. Yep. Okay. Two cards. Yep. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Mm, yeah, I think we're going to do that. So let's do that. And let's ready up. And you have the initiative, sir. I'm going to tap the dispatcher. I'm going to tap. Mm -hmm. Do you know what? There's no point tapping the dispatcher. I'm just going to tap seven. Yep. And I'll play Luke. Yep. And I'll give your base defender a minus three, minus three. Which kills it. Very good. Okay. Hmm. Well, I think in response to that, I'm going to pay six and play Obi-Wan. Very nice. Which will leave me with two remaining unspent. Yeah, I'm going to attack your base for three with the Bright Hope. Sure, fine. I'm uh, happy to take that. Ah. <sighs> Uh, Luke will attack your base four and put a shield on Obi-Wan. Yeah. I've got a little problem here. I'll take Obi-Wan's shield off with the... Alliance like Dispatcher? Yeah. Dispatcher. Dice. Fine. Um... I need to do... You've spent all your resources... I need to do four damage to you. Either Luke or Akbar can do that. So I'm going to take the initiative because I reckon I can kill you with the first action next turn. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Um, I was going to attack Obi Wan, which will do two to Obi Wan and one to base, I think. Or, or does it allow you to do it to Defender as well? Let's well, you do, do it to the Defender as well. Okay, um, yeah, I mean, you can. But I guess, yeah, sure. Sabine will hit Obi-Wan. Okay, so Obi-Wan takes three, or are you going to split it? I'll just do two to Obi-Wan and one to the base. Yeah. Okay. And then I think you just win the game. Uh, assuming you pass and we ready up and stuff, I take the first action, and either Luke or Obi-Wan hits your base for four. And yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I made I made a big mistake there. Um, I could have used a takedown when you had that mm -hmm. Echo Defender shielded like two turns earlier, but I played. I I think I I I was so keen to play the U wing reinforcement. Oh yeah. I just yeah. I just like I just what do you call it when you got like the headlights on and just didn't see that T other play at all. Yeah, it was complete tunnel vision. Oh, I get you. Um. So I thought that that was going to be big, but what would have been much bigger was just get rid of because you kept shielding it. So get rid yeah. of it. That would have been a much better play earlier. But good. One game. Awesome. It's a good way to one, end the one. night. Yeah, it's, it's almost midnight. We should probably stop. Yeah, exactly. I was going to say. We'll have to. I'll keep this deck together, and we'll get together for uh, a tiebreaker at some point in the future. Point. I was going to say tiebreaker next Friday night. Thanks to everybody that hung out and watched the game. Please leave a like on the stream if you enjoyed it. Yeah, um, if it's good to see thoughts as to uh, as plays or what you did wrong or what you should have done better. I appreciate you couldn't see our hands while we were going. Uh, I'd very much appreciate hearing this stuff. Let us know what you think of the decks and what, what you think they can do with that they do or don't have. Yeah, I have a couple more cards coming. Um, yeah, uh, yeah, I want to make a few small tweaks, but um, oh. I do want to build some other decks. But yes, uh, thanks so much None for of watching. My ideal plays happened during that game. I was very disappointed. Yeah. Um, yeah. What is your ideal play, or do you want to keep that? So in an ideal time? world, I start with the Alliance Dispatcher turn one, play it, yes, and then shield it with Luke, uh -huh. which makes it a bugger to get rid of, and it's there giving me a one cost discount on everything for the rest of the game, or most of the rest of the game. And then I start playing um, 
either units one below cost. Uh, so like when I, when it's on the three resource turn, I could play a four resource Kanan Jarrus or Bright Hope, or I could play a three resource three resource character and shield it with Luke. So I get units on curve but shielded at the same time. So mm -hmm. I, didn't pull a single, I didn't pull a single of my own Luke Skywalkers. They've gone up to fifty pounds, by the way, Luke Skywalker. Deservedly so, yeah. Absolutely. It's a very good card. Um, yeah. All right, so I really need to go. Yeah, um, no worries. Oh, cool. you've got the hyper space. Sure. Yeah, thanks. Uh, that was really good fun, Mark. Uh, we'll hopefully catch you next time. I look forward to rematch. Take care of yourself, John. Cheers. Good night. Thanks for watching. Bye.